Hi guys! In light of recent events, I decided to make a video about people getting offended, which also brings me to talk about some some other issues I have. We all live under the weird oppressive regime of health and safety regulations. Remember in the old days when there wasn't health and safety? When it was just called common sense? Remember those days? You looked down and there would be a great big hole. Will I step in it? Nope. I'm just gonna walk around it. How did you manage to learn how to do that? Well, my parents taught me not to be a complete moron, so... Uh, and I just carried it on from there. See, the Dutch, they treat you like you're an adult. You're in Amsterdam. They sell pot, they sell mushrooms, there's trams, buses, cabs, push bikes, women with kids, there's a road next to a canal. Is there a fence? Nope. In Denmark, there'd be a big sign. Don't go in the water. You're gonna fall in the water and drown. Don't go in. In Amsterdam, is your bike wet? Yep. Well, you're on the wrong bit, mate. We have political correctness, which is the other side of health and safety, which is the small oppression of our physical movement, so we can't do anything without permission from a state. And political correctness is the oppression of our intellectual movement, so no one says anything anymore in case someone else gets offended. What happens if you says that and he gets offended? Well, they can be offended. What's wrong with being offended? When did sticks and stones may break my bones stop being relevant? Isn't that what we teach kids? He calls me an idiot. Don't worry about it. He's a dick. Now we have adults going, I was offended, I have rights. Well, so what? Be offended, nothing happens. You're an adult, grow up, deal with it. I was offended, I don't care. Nothing happens when you get offended. It's not like I saw a, uh, I saw a YouTube video and the, and the guy in the video, he said something about the Lord and, and I was offended. And then when I woke up in the morning, I had leprosy. Nothing happens. I want to live in democracy, but I don't want to be offended ever again. You're an idiot. How do you make a law about offending people? How do you make an offense to offend people? Being offended is subjective. That has everything to do with you as an individual, or a collective, or a group, or a society, or a community, your moral conditions, your religious beliefs. What offends me may not offend you. And you want to make laws about that? I'm offended when I see boy band, for God's sake. They pose as musicians to further a modeling career, and frankly, I'm disgusted. But what am I going to do? Call the cops? Hello? It's me again. They're on telly this time. Five of them, that's it. Yep. White suit, stand on my girls, that's them. Five minutes. I'll be out in the front traumatized. Bye. Now you can't smoke anywhere either. For our health? No. It's for control. No smoking. Can we still buy cigarettes? Of course. Well, where can we smoke them? Nowhere. You can smoke them in the woods, under a blanket, with a torch, unless it's raining. Then the health and safety regulations do stipulate that. It's about control and that's an easy way to understand that. You see, the Irish were the, were the first to ban smoking in pubs. Now who saw that coming? Certainly not the Irish. <laughs> I'd love to have been there the day they told them. What? It's all? But first? Come on. No. In pubs? But we live in pubs. So I guess what I want to say is, people get offended way too easily. But then again, personally, there's nothing wrong with being offended. But those who get offended tend to carry it out way too far. So what I want to say is, have some goddamn humor. But what about you guys? What offends you? When was the last time you were offended? I would really like to know, so please just comment below. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you like my videos and to be told whenever I upload a new one. I'll see you next week. Bye!